Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, you are going to learn how to dockerize a Quarkus application with Docker files. By default, when you create a new Quarkus application, you get several Docker files. They are dockerfile.jwm, legacy jar, native, and native distanceless. If you take a look inside the dockerfile.jwm, you will see the command to get the Red Hat Universal Base image. But it does not contain the JWAM. So you can so see here the instruction to install the JWAM. After that, the command to copy the thin jar, the runner jar, and the last part of the Docker file, you can see the command to expose the listening port 8080. The Docker file legacy jar is exactly the same with only one difference. You just need to copy the content of the target Quarkus sub directory where the entire application dependency and index are located. Instead, the dockerfile.native uses the same Red Hat Universal Base image, but it does not install and use the JWAM because it's not going to use the native image of the Quarkus application. Last but not least, dockerfile.native distanceless, it doesn't use the Red Hat Universal Base image. The idea behind uh, the distanceless is, is the usage of a single and minimal base image containing all the requirements and sometimes even the application itself. Quarkus provides the Quarkus distanceless image. It contains the required package to run a native executable and it's only 9 megabyte. Now let's use all the Docker files. Docker file J1, first we need to package the application, then build the image and in the end of course run the image. Same things for the Docker file legacy jar but during the packages phase we have to specify the type of the package. Inside the dockerfile.native and dockerfile native distanceless, during the packages phase we have to specify the native mode. Let's use the dockerfile.jwm, open the terminal and type maven package. Good, now we have our target folder and inside the folder the jar file. Now let's build the image. Type docker build minus f docker file dot jwm minus t and let's put the name. For example, quarkus docker jwm. Now, if I type docker image ls, you can see the new image quarkus docker jwm. Let's run the image. Type docker run minus c minus minus rn minus p 8080 and then the name quarkus docker jwm. Good. Our application is up and running and listening on the port 8080. Now let's open a new tab in order to, to try the application. So write type curl http localhost 8080 slash docker. Good. Hello docker. Let's do the same thing for the docker files dot legacy jar. During the packaging phase, we have to specify the type of the package. So type maven package minus d quarkus.package.type equal legacy jar. We have our target folder and inside the target folder the jar file. Now let's build the image. Type docker build minus f source main docker of course the docker file dot legacy jar 
minus t and let's put the name Quarkus Quarkus Legacy JVM. Now let's run the image. Type docker run minus e minus minus rm minus p 808080 and then the name of the image Quarkus Legacy JVM. Good, our application is up and running and listening on a port 8080. Let's open the, the tab and type curl localhost 8080 slash docker. Good, we receive hello docker. Let's move on and try the dockerfile.native. In this case, we have to specify the native profile putting minus p native after the maven package. Let's build it. And now you can see the Quarkus Docker native image. Last but not least, with the same package, we can build the native distrustless image using the Docker file dot native distrustless and now you can see the Quarkus Docker native distrustless image as 64 megabyte. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like it. If you have any question or doubts Please don't hesitate to contact me, you can find me on Twitter, LinkedIn and Instagram. Subscribe to my channel if you want and see you in the next video about Quarkus. Bye!